Hey, booktube. Blue says hello. Oh, you're not gonna look up at the camera? What's the deal? What's the deal? Can you guys hear him purr? <laughs> okay. Hey, booktube. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. I am here today with a Friday Reads bookish chat. I actually have a mail, um, some mail to open for you, so that'll be really fun. Um, for those of you um, who want an update on our snow situation, it is still, it is still quite deep. Um, I keep joking that our bathtub looks like, or our bathtub, our backyard looks like a bathtub just full of snow. <laughs> So yeah, it, it was really intense and it was actually quite stressful um, to be part of. So I've had a really up and down week, um, but one of the definite ups of the week was the St. Patrick's Day shout out challenge. Thank you to all of you who um, participated in that and made videos. That was awesome. Um, I'm gonna try to do that again next year. And uh, yeah, I, I'm so excited to check out these other channels um, that people have mentioned that I'm not familiar with. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to exploring all of that. So thank you so much to everyone who participated in that. Uh, the other thing that's been going on for me on BookTube is just uh, either getting sucked in or just getting really agitated about um, channels that are negative, you know, like they just have like this negative energy to them. And, um, and again, like who am I to tell people, like do what you want to do with your channel. I just... I just won't be watching <laughs> because I just get all worked up like <gasps> like just go to your shelves and find a book you love and and do a review of it you know like just do something positive and fun this is supposed to be a fun thing and again like if you if you just want to make if those are the kind of videos you want to make go for it but it just I don't know, like for me, it's just not very much fun. And I also recognize the fact that there are people out there who are like, oh, books I'm not reading, like, oh, she's so like vanilla and, oh, it's just, you know, take care of yourself, be kind to others, blah, blah, gag me with a spoon kind of thing. Like I recognize like my channel isn't for everyone either. So that's, that's fine. But I really, I really love the um, kind of atmosphere and energy of this channel. And I, I want you to know, like, I know this is weird and I know you can totally think for yourselves, but I just feel really protective of you guys. <laughs> like, uh, like a giant mother hen. <laughs> um, and again, not that you can't make your own decisions about what to watch and what not to watch on BookTube. I just, um, you know, I know some of you are thinking about starting channels in the future or maybe that's just this little tiny thing in the, in the back of your mind and I just, I worry, uh, or, or maybe you're new to BookTube um, and I worry that, you know, you might, um, be discouraged by those videos or that might slow you and prevent you from, from starting your own channel. And um, yeah, so anyway, I got sucked into some of that this week. That was stressful, but, but there are some just great things. So, okay, reading update, <laughs> no surprise. I'm still reading my mammoths. So um, I am reading. Parade Send and our mutual friend. Um, so, and one of you asked me about the sticky notes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, I would like to have a system where uh, certain things are, certain things I want to remember are color coded for certain reasons. Normally, I only use the sticky tabs if um, if it's like a quote that I want to put in my commonplace book. Um, but when I do buddy reads, I 
have to be have to be on my game and uh, you know be able to go back and find the things that I want to talk about and so so there yeah there's not a lot of rhyme or reason um, <laughs> to it but it's funny because you know the year got off to a really rough reading start for me and these are both I think I mean I'm not done with them obviously but I definitely predict these are both going to be five star books so I'm really struggling with this one at the moment. Um, it, it, it just started to get a little bit smoother, but Ford Maddox Ford, like the way he kind of plays with time and um, wanting to, he uses his language as a way to maybe disorient you at times or um, confuse you. And I, and I think he's doing that for a certain effect. I don't think it's, definitely don't think it's random. And of course, I mean, Dickens, there's just oh, so many like moving and funny and uh, sad and there's great villains, of course. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so this has is just a joy to read. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying both of those. Oh, and to my future self, I'm really truly saying this to myself, <gasps> Kelly, when you do a buddy read with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this buddy read you checked in every four chapters and you tried to read there's four books in here so one book a week um, and I'm saying that because every time I do a buddy read with the Joe I'm always like how do we do this how I don't remember <laughs> so um Allie and I um Allie from Fox Folios and I like we've been checking in every kind of um Oh, well, there's there's four books within it, and then each book has different sections, so we've been kind of checking in every section uh, of the book, and yes, there's a, a lot of sticky notes in there. So, so I, um, again, another question one of you asked me was, how do I keep track of things? <laughs> so this is just a great example. I'm a chewing gum wrapper, and I wrote down, how many pages I would like to read this weekend, which is 220. Um, whether I get there or not, I don't know, but uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so that's how I keep track of things, random bits of paper everywhere. All right, so the next very exciting thing uh, that I have to share is one of you sent me a package. This is so, so nice of you. I do know what it is, but I, I was like, oh, just wait, wait until my Friday Reads video so that we can open it up together because I'm so excited about this. So this is Unsolaced Along the Way to All That Is by Gretel Ehrlich. And so she wrote a book called The Solace of Open Spaces, which actually takes place in Wyoming. And I, I believe I've mentioned it on my channel, maybe, maybe not for a while, but let's see. And I think, oh my goodness, I think, is this signed? And maybe it's not signed. And that's totally, totally fine. No, I, it's not signed. But that's fine. That's like, I'm so, I mean, I'm just so excited like to have this book. I didn't even know, um, I didn't even know it existed. So, um, let's see. From the author of the enduring classic, The Solace of Open Spaces, here is a wondrous meditation on how water, light, wind, mountain, bird, and horse have shaped her life and her understanding of a world besieged by climate crisis. Amid species extinctions and disintegrating ice sheets, this stunning collection of memories, observations, and narratives is acute and lyrical, Whitmanesque in breadth and as elegant as a Japanese tea house. Uh, and then this is a quote from Ehrlich, Sentinence and Sundrance. Ehrlich writes, how we know what we know, who teaches us, how easy it is to lose it all, it's end quote. As if to stave off impending loss, she embarks on strenuous adventures to Greenland, Africa, 
Kosovo, Japan, and an uninhabited Alaskan island, always returning to her simple Wyoming cabin at the foot of the mountains and the trail that leads into the heart of them. Doesn't that sound so good? Oh my gosh. And I I don't know, like I know at, the, at one point we did own the solace of open spaces and I don't know if uh, we gave it away or what, but um, I'm super, super excited to have this book. I'm, yeah, really looking forward to reading it and I just really thank you so much. Like it was so incredibly kind. Um, the person who sent this to me. So thank you so much. Okay. So the one thing that I have actually really been neglecting is my poem for every night of the year. So I just thought I would share with you today's poem. Okay. Because it kind of goes along with what I was saying earlier about, you know, getting sucked into things that are negative and letting things, I've just let things get under my skin lately. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know, I don't know what my deal is, but anyway, I mean, there were definitely some, some highlights of the week for sure as well, but, um, let's see. Okay. This poem, uh, is called Three Good Things by Jan Dean. At day's end, I remember three good things. Apples, maybe their skin shine smell and soft froth of juice. Water maybe, the pond in the park, dark and full of secret fish. A mountain maybe, that I saw in a film or climbed last holiday, and suddenly today it thundered up into a playground game. Or else an owl, I heard an owl today. And I made bread, my head is full of these things, it's hard to choose just three. I let remembering fill me up with all good things so that good things will overflow into my sleeping self and in the morning, good things will be waiting when I wake. All right, so booktube, tell me in the comment section down below how your, whatever event you're participating in in March or if maybe you're not participating in any event, what you've been reading, how things are going. Um, I would love to hear um, anything positive in your life that you wanna share. And I would love to hear from some of my, uh, my new subscribers. Um, yeah, just even if you just wanna just say hi in the comment section, that would be fantastic. So I really look forward to that. And uh, yeah, you guys, Take care, remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others, and I will talk to you soon, booktube. Have a great weekend, bye.